hey guys wagwan welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a new video on this nissan Sentra. and um basically yeah, the customer complained and said they think it's the gas pump because the car was driving then it just shut off like it ran out of gas so what i did based on what the customers say i get some gas and i spray into the intake right here and then the car cranked up so if you if you can get some gas have somebody crank the car or even let the car crank itself because these cars are button press but if your car is not button press you can just have somebody crank the car while you spray gas right here and it will if it cranked up you know your your sparks and everything's like everything is good it's just that it's not getting any fuel so I know it's not getting any fuel so I'm gonna go ahead and check in the in the um in the back I'm gonna lift up the back seat check for power and grounds there if I don't get any power and grounds there then I will also go ahead and check the fuse but I'm gonna check that before I check the fuse and this by the way is my new 2021 passport gonna be a video coming on it because as you know the other one got total so I have to come out of the packet to buy this one but let me give you a little preview so that's what the inside look like that's the seat I get let's get back to the video all right so now we are in here we just need to lift the back seat up so it's hard to do with one hand but basically you push back you push back like this because just hook down there you push back and pull up and it will come up all right so get the front seat all the way forward what's that gonna do is gonna give you some space to work so basically I'm gonna try to do it on camera just like that and you're gonna do the same thing for the other side over there all right Just want to get this out like this get that on the outside so your fuel pump is gonna be located right here so this is your fuel pump right here this you want to turn it you can use your finger but I wouldn't recommend using your finger you see I just use mine so you just get a Phillips screwdriver there's a little arrow on there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a little arrow that show you which way to turn it to get it loose. All right, so let's um do that. So we got our Phillips screwdriver right here. Go like that. Once you do that. You can hold it by here and lift up on it. These people got roaches in their car. Yeah. Anyway, this will be the fuel pump. This is their fuel pump right here. What I can do is try to turn the ignition on and see if you hear the pump so you can try to start it and see if you hear the pump go on most time when in most car when you turn the um when you turn the ignition on the car will turn the gas pump on the fuel pump on so what you want to do is just turn the ignition on and see if that do anything you can listen to hear the pump go mm. <laughs> You can put it off. So I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear any sound or any humming coming from the pump. 
so what I'm gonna do is remove this clip and by removing this clip you want to push down and this you want to push down right here pull back yep. sometime you might have to wiggle it just like what I did just now so you're gonna have So guys, um, this is gonna be the two biggest wire gonna be for the pump. One's gonna be negative and one's gonna be um, positive. But because I just have a regular bulb right here and a socket. So basically, if you can get something like this, put one in one part and one in the other. I'm gonna put one right here. And put the other one right here all right I'm gonna do it like that so let me just do it good I'm gonna put one right here I'm gonna put the other one right here and make sure none of the wires touch each other And what this will tell you if the system is getting um current. So we're gonna leave that right there, where you guys can see the bulb. We're gonna try and crank the car now. If it have power, then yeah, it's good. If it don't have power. Then we gotta check the fuse, like I said. So, as you can hear the car cranking, the light didn't light up. So now we know the light didn't light up. So now we know we have to check the fuse. All right, so we're gonna go check the fuse. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off right here. So we're gonna read this on the side that right there look for fuel pump right here it said fuel pump is f20 we're gonna find f20 f20 is right here so we need to remove this um fuse right here all right so we remove the fuse i don't know if you can see it on the camera but the fuse look like it's broken so we're gonna get another fuse and put it in here and make sure you put it at uh, 15 just like what you take out of there so i'm gonna put the camera back here so you guys can see if the the light come back on hey right, guys we have our new fuse in there let's crank it up so as you can see this time it was the fuse that was bad so normally I would normally check the fuse first before I come to the fuel pump but because I know this fuel pump is easy to access so I just do it this way so let's see if the car gonna crank it up or if it's gonna pop the fuse again now we know that is good. So if it break the fuse again, then we know the pump is bad for sure. So the car crank up. So it was just a fuse. Yeah, the fuse, the pump is running. So the problem was 
just a fuse. All right, guys, so we're just gonna put back everything now since we find a problem. It was just a fuse. That could be a sign of the fuel pump going bad and short the fuse out. But we gotta put it like this and go test drive the car, make sure everything goes, goes good, all right? 